in the book, you talk a lot about class. How long has identity politics transcended, has taken centre stage over class, would you say? Oh, well, I think, I, I think class has always been there. Uh, and I think it's come to the fore in the last three or four years, particularly since we had a government elected where it is probably more high-born than any since Lord Salisbury's in 1904. You know, it, it, is, it is an incredible step back for the country that we now governed by these people. Um, and so I think the other stuff, in good Marxist fashion, always got in the way. It was always mediating that sort of basic class divide. Arguably the liberal left has been obsessive about the identity element yes, of the of book course, rather than the white working class element. Of course, because it's, a, it's an interesting psychological thing that I think that these, that these uh, uh, pretend lefties, these faux lefties from London, uh, they've almost sort of acquired victimhood by proxy. It's something they clothe themselves in. That if they can, that if they can, if they can talk about these rather ephemeral things of, of uh, uh, which are not crucially important, such as gender and race and so on, they're not nowhere near as important as class, which is by far the most important thing uh, in Britain at the moment. But they, but they, they can't be that dominant. They are dominant. How is it uh, we've been for the past uh, decade or more? obsessed by privatisation of services, of all the uh, dogma of the right, as it were. So well, how the, powerful are these people? Well, I mean, it's the dogma of the right and the dogma of the left. I think the two have come together. This is what I talk about in the book, um, that, that particularly from 1979-80, when the Chicago School of Economics took over, and everything had to be hived off, and we saw how disastrous that was in Russia. It's been pretty disastrous here as well. We now have people sort of paying a greater and greater proportion of their incomes in energy prices, for example to private energy companies. Uh, and that was a paradigm which lasted for a very, very long time. But this is the during the dominance of this faux left that you Yeah, well, it is, a, it is a dominance. It's the, new, it's the new aristocracy. But they don't want that, do they? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course they do. Privatisation, energy oh, companies? Oh, yes, of course they do. Yes, they, they don't mind that at all. No.